Hello friends, this is Mohamed Shakil here and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can use the tool flange hold stamp in Ketia V5. Over here on the screen you can see the flange hold stamp being created on a sheet metal component and I'm going to show you from scratch how you can do it. So to start off, go to start mechanical design, generative sheet metal design workbench and click on OK for the new part and once you're on the new workspace go for the sheet metal parameters default and do the default and then just go for creating a basic sketch in order to start off so I'll just uh, better go for the XY plane and create a basic sketch here maybe a rectangle will be sufficient and then go for a basic wall and then what you can do to create a flange hole stamp, you basically need to have a point and a sheet metal face. You do have a sheet metal face as of, as of now, so just select that face and go for creating a point and just place a point somewhere on the uh, sheet metal. Just make sure you're not keeping it on the edge because you need to give some space where your flange hole stamp will be coming. Just click on OK and you got the point created over there. Now you could invoke the flange hole stamp tool which is right here or you could uh, see it on the cutting or stamping toolbar it's available on the flange hole just go for once you select the tool just remember that you won't be getting any uh, dialog box unless and until you select a point and a sheet metal face once you're on it you got the dialog box I got some uh, parameters which you, with which you can play with. Just go for the preview, and I uh, got the uh, flange hole stamp being created over there. So let me just explain the pretty basics uh, or the basic parameters which you could change. So the things which you could change are basically uh, we can see the radius is over here. That's the radius you can see here. That's the R which you can see here, two mm. So if we go for a three. Uh, 3 mm radius would be uh, coming on the fillet over here and you have an option to disable that particular radius also and here is the diameter you could increase or decrease the diameter right here that's the diameter or the distance here which is uh, more explained uh, briefly here and you have an angle also the angle basically is kept on 90 degrees which you cannot increase more than that but you could decrease uh, less than 90 degrees but make sure that uh, you're not making the parameters uh, go beyond what which you cannot maybe fold later or which creates a kind of error later so that's about uh, the uh, flange hole parameters so just go for OK and get the flange hole stamp be created over there so that's all about this particular tool so if you have any doubt on this please let me know just comment below the video and I'll be getting in touch with you and I hope this tutorial is going to help you in your sheet metal projects. And if you have uh, any CAD inquiries or CAD project, if you need any assistance on CAD projects, you could write to me at ktr.pro.user at gmail.com. I hope you enjoy my tutorial videos and uh, keep watching and stay tuned.